Hi everyone, it's PhD Simmer here and welcome back to my Sims 2 Bachelor, no, not Bachelor Challenge, Build a City Challenge. I was thinking of BACC, which is the little acronym for it. You might notice we've got a little guest with us today. She might not stay that long, but this is Lily. Lily is a stray cat that appeared on my window about 10 days ago and I managed to sort of get her into a carrier, take her to a vet. She has no microchip. They think she's about five months old and uh, nobody has claimed her. So Lily has claimed me. <laughs> so Lily might sit here. She might, she might not. She's very needy. <laughs> she's, uh, yeah, she was pretty thin when she came to my house and now she's a good weight for her size, but she's very needy. She likes sleeping under the duvet. Uh, but yeah, so there's Lily. If she goes, I'll uh, turn the camera off. But uh, yeah, you might just see her chilling there in the corner because she's quite needy. She started meowing as soon as I turn my computer on. <laughs> like, no, no, I need attention. <laughs> okay, so we're going to be playing with Jack today. He's the last Sim in our first round. Um, Jack Granville, I did introduce you at the end of the last episode. Jack is a, a romance sim, so that's cool. His first want is to woohoo in bed straight away. That's what he wants. He also wants to get a charisma skill, but he doesn't own a mirror. So we could go to the shop. Did I put shops in the mirror? Did I <laughs> did I put shops in the mirror? Did I put um did I put uh look how adorable she is. She's so sweet. Um did I put mirrors in the shops? I can't remember. Uh we might travel there. So let's uh well let's first cuz he's going to have some people come come over. Uh he'll have like a welcome party, won't he? So he wants to get a job in the slacker career and the culinary career. Now, the slacker career is not open yet, so we can't have him go in a slacker career. Actually, I'm not sure. I need to check that. Military, he definitely doesn't want to do military, I don't think. Law enforcement, no. We're not going to go for those. Actually, speaking of which, did I sell his burger alarm? Right, we'll grab a bite to eat then and see if uh, anyone turns up. It looks like Finn has shown up. Jack is bisexual, so any sims will do <laughs> i think it's easier with the romance aspiration than have you so limited okay we can get him okay i've gave, given him the whole romance tree which gives him massive attraction slower uh hygiene and energy local legend and smooth talk he, let's also get him the he's of popularity sim as well we could get we could start working up this popularity tree should we get him a money tree why not it's a few extra pounds here and there come and harvest your money tree He's in gold, so he should be okay. I think it's below that we shouldn't be. Who's this? Joe Graham. I don't know who that is. There we go. Get your money. Looks like there's still money on it. Did you harvest all of it? There's still money on it. I don't think you can harvest it anymore. Right, let's grab a taxi then. don't think there is a welcome wagon coming. Uh, call for a taxi. Cool. We'll go to the um, shop. I don't know if I restocked it. Because I think if I don't restock it when I'm playing that character, it won't be stock, which is unfortunate. Okay, let's recycle the paper. Um, we want to go to the general store. So yeah, we'll try and get him a mirror so he can work on his charisma skill. I don't think he's got a mirror. I don't see one. No. Okay, does he have a mirror? He does have a mirror. Let's add that to our shopping bag. We should greet him as well. Have a little chat. Well, yeah, we'll take a mirror, please. I don't know if we've got enough money for an oven. That's £310. Hmm, I don't think he's going to want creativity skill. We'll have to find out what his hobby is. Let's greet Henry. Oh, yeah, I added some new sims in. I added five new townies in. So every time you get um, a community lot, you're allowed to add in five townies. But I think that's probably too many too often. So I've just gone for, like, um, whenever I feel like we need a few more townies, which I think we do. So we bought a mirror, so let's pay for our items. So yeah, one of our new townies is Henry Knight and also George. So here's George. Try and get a bit of a better shot at him. There's George. And there's uh, Henry. My, uh, oh, and here is um, another sim. I don't know why he's wearing a vest. Benji. <laughs> what is he wearing? Benji, I did not choose that outfit for you. Anyway, here's Benji. <laughs> My body shot was not working when I made them. So they're just made in the normal create a sim so but we'll greet everybody benji is going to be owning a um internet cafe i think um and then we're gonna have i can't remember what i want george to do his surname's carol for a reason and i can't remember why <laughs> we're gonna pay for our items let's greet everyone we we'll greet ella greet alien might as well greet everybody let's see if he's got any chemistry with anyone yet oh he quite likes ella in terms of chemistry not in terms of friendship <laughs> and he likes maria 
Maria is also a secondary romance, so I'm sure he'll be all right. What was turn ons and turn offs again? I can't remember. Um, I think it's blonde and brown hair. Oh no, that's um, Maria Cologne fitness, and he's turned off by fatness. He's a bit shallow, unfortunately. Right, we'll come and tell Aileen a joke, and we'll admire her. We'll chat to her. Hmm, Jack, word around the streets is that you're not doing too great in the community. There have been some unpleasant rumours spreading about you. You should keep a lookout for yourself. Oh, he's getting a bit of a negative um, rep. Let's see. Yep. Yeah. Oh, it says he's a lousy loser. <laughs> well, he has been arguing with people. I don't know if I read out Jack's bio last time, but it says Jack loves romance and fashion. He also loves to party. Jack can't wait to meet all the singletons that arrive in Dashwood Hills. Yeah, he's going to own a fashion store. So whenever Sims want to buy new outfits, they'll have to come to Jack's, Jack's store. Looks like uh, Anthony's shop's going well, though. Let's see, he's going to check her out. Let's see what he thinks of her. Hey, Jack. Did I ever mention to you that I work in a discount home furnishings warehouse? If your household ever needs to buy anything, well, that's handy. Oh, no, he doesn't like... She's trying to... What's... <laughs> <laughs> Look, dude, you should be so picky. Can we scope the room? Let's scope the room, see if he likes anybody. <gasps> oh, he likes these three. Oh, he likes four of them. George is hot. Okay. Come and tell a little joke to George. Oh, he went. <laughs> Thanks, George. Okay. He also liked Anthony, but I don't really want to ruin Anthony and uh, Ella's relationship. But then again, I'm playing Jack. Jack probably doesn't care. <laughs> He wants to ask Benji on a date, George on a date, and Ella on a date. We're going to lock in George. I don't know. I can't remember what anyone's um, sexuality is. That's the problem. Um, <clears throat> let's greet Molly. Tell a little joke to Benji. Admire him. I might not have set their sexualities because I just townified them. <clears throat> so they're probably just bisexual because that's kind of like the default for the game, I think. Oh, that was such a weird giggle. <laughs> such a little... Oh, no. You didn't like that. We were just chatting. Jack, you're supposed to be like a Casanova. You're not doing very well. I'm actually going to keep the bed woohoo locked in. Jack, I think it's going to cause a lot of relationship drama. I don't know why Benji's wearing this outfit. <laughs> Maybe I deleted something. I did, because my body shop wasn't working, I went through all of my custom content. It took me so long. Um, and I did delete a few things that were causing problems. Oh my God. I think it's because he's got a bad rep. Like people just like don't want to associate with him. We try to make some friends. So I want your guys' opinion on something. Um, are you happy with the 45 minute slightly longer episodes? You know, 35 to 45 minutes they've been coming out as. Or do you want me to put each person's part into two? Or the other thing I was thinking, I could play, rather than playing a week, Monday to Monday, which is seven days, I could play by season. I could work around each household's and do like spring for each person, summer for each person, then they're five days, so the videos will naturally be a bit shorter. Or are you happy as they are? Let me know. Ask about his interests. We're just gonna be very casual. Try and make a friend at least. <laughs> but we're gonna have to take him home soon because he's gonna get super bad needs. Okay, let's talk to Molly. Molly, let me tell you a little joke. Give you a little admiration. Um, why don't we joy buzzy you? <laughs> And let's ask her, do you like what you see? Mm, I think she's going to be like, nah. I think Molly and Jack, uh oh, no. Gosh, he is hard work. He is like a romantic social outcast. <laughs> nope, she doesn't like him at all. Oh my God, Jack, you're having such a hard time. Can we not have one friend to depend on? Oh my God. Oh. I feel bad for him. Look at his face. He's just like, oh, all I'm trying to do is make a friend and possibly jump into bed with somebody. <laughs> Look at that face. Oh, dear. Well, Jack, I think you're going to have to go home. You've embarrassed yourself. <laughs> oh, he fears rejection so badly. Oh, minus two now for Molly. Henry, he's got three. He doesn't fancy Alien. He's only got 11 with her. I think the problem is one of his turn-ons is cologne. No Sims are going to be really wearing cologne. I don't think they do that autonomously. <sighs> so if he owns a fashion store, he'll have to sell cologne and just keep giving it to people. <laughs> That's so mean, especially when it's cold out. Yeah, so I added in five new townies. Benji, George, Henry. There are two other girls I think I added in. I'm sure we'll see them as we go. I think Jack's going to have a hard time, you know. He's got a bad rep. That's his problem. Right, we are home. Uh, I don't know why my community time mod isn't working. 
so basically in The Sims 2, if you go to a community lot and then you come back home, time hasn't passed. I'm not befriending any dogs because they keep destroying my furniture. <laughs> I can't afford to replace it right now. When I've got money, I will allow a dog. <laughs> okay, cool. Let's put these sandwiches away. And we'll have my little nap. And then we'll invite George over, I think. I don't see George actually on here. Ah, oh, I don't actually I think George left before we met, didn't he? Hey Jack, are we still friends? Okay, well, okay. I didn't know I had I didn't know you were a friend. <laughs> Um, okay. Oh, he does have a friend. Melanie's his friend. Oh, that's nice. Okay, good. He has one friend. We we would try our best not to ruin that. Let's call her, invite her over. Okay, cool. And then we're going to invite George over. Yeah, have us those millions before our guests uh, take them. Hey, George. Okay. Now we've got to try and be friendly with him. Sure, I suppose I could come over. I couldn't hurt. No, George, it won't hurt at all. I promise. <laughs> um. Okay, he's got a slight romance bolt with i keep calling it a romance bot this is an attraction score with um melanie so that's nice but we're trying to talk to george as well because i want him to have another friend well tell him a joke uh oh i don't think it's going well i can't remember what george's needs are no george doesn't like us either we are just instantly unlikable it seems okay that wasn't too bad an interaction we'll just be really 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 we we'll tell a story about fame. And let's tell a little joke to Melanie. Should we be romancing our only friend? This is the problem I have. <laughs> what if he ruins it and that's our only friend? Okay, who's this? Jill, okay. We can, we can say hey to Jill. Oh, she's gone. <laughs> right, we better talk to Melanie before she gets bored. He's walking outside with bare feet in the snow. It shouldn't even be snow. I haven't set a season. I'll leave it for now, I'll do it at the end. Let's charm Melanie, see what she thinks to that. She might not like it. Oh, she seems to be keen. Oh. Oh, she likes him. Oh, what's this? Rel oh, I think they go for a woohoo. I think the ACR's uh, decided for us. Okay, off you pop, you two. <laughs> I think they're just making out right now. Yep. Making out in the nerd while poor old George is just uh, skipping. <laughs> Oh my god. Yep, they're gonna do a casual woohoo. There we go. Jimmy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, well at least he got his first one. That was good. <laughs> Right, let's see. He wants to make out with three sims, woohoo with three sims, have a party. You haven't got any friends. <laughs> Straight away he rolls the want to meet someone new. Uh, maybe George is quite serious and just doesn't like... Why don't we try and play a game with him? Play... Let's toss a football. We don't have a lot of room in this house. I don't think it, they're going to like that on that wall there. But we'll see. They might be like, I can't use the toilet because there's a mirror in the way. But we'll see. Hopefully, I don't know if this builds friendship, so he's on 24, so let's see if it goes up. It might just be fun. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be building friendship. Who are we getting a call from? Oh, some old dude. Oh, he took my money! I was just about to do that. <laughs> I need to, like, fence off my money. Let's go to loot, and then we'll go to sleep. Yeah, he can't, because you nicked it, didn't you, George? Thank you very much for that. Right, we'll let him sleep and I'll join you guys back in the morning. I don't know what these two... Oh, they've gone. I was going to say, I don't know what these two are going to do. Let me, while he's sleeping, check if the slacker career has one... Sometimes they have, like, one position open. Um. Oh, yeah, there is one position open at the start of the game. So he could join the slacker career. I just don't think he's... He's so focused on his romance aspiration. I just don't think he's really that bothered about having a career. But he's going to have, like, his fashion store. That's his thing. So I just think his career right now is just anything that will make money. I do want to roll his lifetime aspirations. Let me do that. Uh, once, re-roll. Woohoo, with 20 different sims. Yeah, okay. Fine by me. We can do that. He's done one. We'll try and do that at the very least. Okay, cool. Let's go and see if there is a job. Because he does. he's going to need to earn a little bit of money <clears throat> so that he can... Yes, let's take the job in the slacker career. 4am. What has he got to do? He's a golf caddy. <laughs> 
And he doesn't have the charisma skill one anymore, but we will start working on that because that'll be good. Okay, let's see if we can get a... Oh, no, he doesn't like the mirror there. Hmm. I mean, we could get rid of the bedside table. It's, we don't really need it. So he's got 260. I don't know what he had at the start of the game, so I will sort his taxes out later because I can go back and look at the recording and see how much money he had. Oh, he's blogging about... He's writing in his diary about his first woohoo. It's like, yeah... I've arrived at um I've arrived and I've already done my first deed. So he's got a little crush on Melanie, which is cute. Um he doesn't really like a lot of people. He likes Ella, but and he likes Maria. I guess we could see if Maria and he does quite like Molly. Let's call and see if Maria wants to come over. Maria's like, no, I'm too busy with my social club, my baby. My life is going so well. Whereas Jax is not. I want him, I kind of need him to get his reputation up, I think. <laughs> I'm going to save quick. I like to try and save when they're in bed, but I forgot. And then at the very least, we only lose a day. Oh, Layla's here. Let's quickly come and greet Layla before she wanders off. Layla's a popularity sim. He wanted to meet someone new anyway, so we'll tell her a little joke. Maybe admire her a little bit and chat with her. I think we got bills to pay. Oh, what's this? Learn lifelong happiness. How do you do that? There are many paths that lead to lifelong happiness. One of them is to learn this useful skill. To learn it, have your sim use the bookshelf. Okay. Hey, Maria. We were just thinking about you. Layla's like, oh, okay, I've been ditched the second she turns up. <laughs> oh, she likes him. Let's tell her a little joke. Admire her. Chat with her. Tell her a story about art, maybe? Oh. Maybe these two are going to be BFFs. I think somebody left a comment actually to say they thought that Jack and Maria would be like best friends and I think they will. Every romance sims worth their salt knows the second most important thing to get a lover is keeping them. The smooth talk interaction is useful not only to build relationships quickly with a potential romantic interest but it also smooths things over with a sim who's furious with you. <laughs> okay that's gonna be good. We'll smooth talk her. Let's see how much it boosts her relationship. Oh, he's got so many bolts with her. They're on 24 at the minute. She definitely, oh yes. She definitely likes what she sees. Oh, he's got the rose. <laughs> Let's try and get a screenshot of these two. She's like, oh yes, I love that. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that interaction before. Okay, so they went up to 37. Let's see if we can charm her a little bit and then we'll give her a pet where's Layla who knows Layla's just like oh, okay I've been sidelined <laughs> oh they pecked we'll give her a back rub we'll give her a romantic hug and we'll try for a tender kiss see if that's too far it might be too far they're not even friends yet little back rub you're looking very tense hefting that baby around all the time I suppose the stress of running your social club oh were they going for the tender kiss yeah Okay, what else can we do? Kiss her hand. Oh, and they both developed a crush. Let's uh, sweet talk. Oh, I can check other sims. So Layla is gay. That makes sense. Maria is bi. Okay, I can actually check on the adjuster when the sims on the lot what their sexuality is. That made life easier. Is that ACR going off there? Yeah, okay. Jack, you kind of need a pee. And out the way. <laughs> and I'm going to serve some lunch meat sandwiches. Actually, I think he's got a whole fridge of those, so let me just get some leftovers. And I do need to pay my bills. Right. Let's have our lunch meat sandwich. Oh, he can caress her hands at the table. Let's blow her a kiss. And toast to her. I'm toasting your beauty, Maria. <laughs> well, Layla, you can be our... Um, Good pal, hopefully. Why didn't you finish eating a sandwich? Oh, she's eating it now. <laughs> right, pay the bills. Thanks for eating my sandwich. Oh, hold on. <laughs> I forgot these two were together. I completely forgot. Oh my God. Oh Lordy. Well, that would have been embarrassing. Oh my God. Everyone's just making out with everyone. I think I'm going to say goodbye to Layla. She's my prize. Go away. <laughs> oh, we're going to caress her. And I want to be able to make out. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. She would. What happened there? She was like, Nana. 
things were going so well. Right, let's say goodbye to Layla. How weird. He's like, bye, stop being the third wheel. Hmm, okay, let's just try and pet her, see what she thinks to that. Maybe I was just going in a little bit too fast. We'll tell her a dirty joke. And let's see, casual, will I woohoo? Sure, I'm game, where's the bed? Okay, let's... Let's woohoo! Okay, they got 100 now. For Melanie, he also like he seems to be liking the blonde so far, apart from, for some reason, doesn't like Aelin. But I think attraction in The Sims 2 is made up from your aspiration, your zodiac sign. So he is a Taurus. It, I think it's made up from your aspiration, your zodiac sign, your turn-ons, turn-offs, and I think other things like obviously if you have a love potion or whatever going on. And another cutscene for Jack. I think we're going to be seeing a lot of these. <laughs> oh, wow. Right, we'll fast forward because he does need to sleep for a bit. Oh, no, look, they're cuddling. It's so sweet. Has she gone? Oh, no, she probably just... I thought she was going to steal my money. See anything bringing in coin for him at the moment? <laughs> okay, he's gonna have to go to work at four, so I'm gonna get him up at maybe one. Yeah. Okay, cool. He's pretty much ready for work. Uh, he does need a bit of fun, so I already recycled the paper, then I never mind. Let's have him read a romance book. See if he likes that. That's building his fun a little bit. Okay, cool. Right. First day of a slacker career, good luck. I probably should save again. Okay, what time does he finish work? 10 a.m. That's quite a good shift, actually, to be honest. He's got the whole day when he comes back. Cool, okay, let's call, um, ask her on a date. We could ask Maria to her own club or we could ask Melanie. Sounds great, don't be late. Okay, friendly, let's tickle you because that's play and tickle all in one go. And he wants to dance, entertain and play. Oh, when we come around to Maria's round, we should get a little um, stereo here. For sure. Okay, I don't know what the jealousy does in this game. Let's hold hands with her and let's romantically hug her. Yeah, she wants to slow dance with him. Let's slow dance in the road, why not? <laughs> I think usually in The Sims 2 they're very sensitive to jealousy, but I think the ACR does change things a little bit. So I'm sure uh, I need to look into the settings. Let's have a little smooch. See, I wish they did this with The Sims 4 dancing. Um, they introduced dancing with the, the wedding pack. Oh, no, she doesn't want to... Oh, oh, God, okay. Yeah, yeah, respect the lady's boundaries. <laughs> oh, my God, what does this say? Smooch, he put head on shoulder, lower hands. Okay, lower hands. Okay. That didn't go well, did it? <laughs> Slow dance. <laughs> try again with the slow dance she and we'll just be very casual head on shoulder oh tell her a little joke oh she wants to kiss him we'll lock that in hug give back rub and flirt and give her a little back rub we could try a peck see what happens Because he wants to kiss her as well. He also wants to flirt and back rub her, so it should all work out quite well. Then we should see if we can go in the uh, social club. She wants to make out with him as well, so we're going so swimmingly. Yeah, let's try for the make out, see if it's, she'll go for it. She wants to make out with three different sims. She's like, yeah, I'm done with you. <laughs> kiss. Get back rub and make out. Yay! He wants to ask Melanie home. Woohoo in bed. We'll lock that in. With this, this she's already woohooed with her, hasn't he? I think he has. I can't even remember. Let's have a look. He has woohooed with Melanie and woohooed with Maria. Okay. She 
she also wants to woo her in bed, so we'll lock that in. But we can't, I don't think we can travel on a date. I think it cancels the date, if I remember rightly. Right, let's sign up for this. Uh, why don't we... Okay, let's not flirt with Maria right here. Play that, see if she'll join us with some pool. Um, yeah, she'll have joined him, I think. There we go, they're playing pool together. <laughs> We'll get some more time on the clock if it goes up to being a great day. Because what else does she want to do? She wants to give a back rub and meet someone new. <laughs> great. Okay, let's give her a back rub. And let's make out again. Pete, we don't have a shower on this lot. Not even a sofa. We can't even do a sofa woohoo. Ah, the date finished. That Thanks, that was a good time. Maybe we should go out again. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Right, I'm going to get some leftovers out the fridge. Oh, what's up with Maria? She's just sort of standing here. <laughs> we could ask her if she wants to come back with us. Okay, let's have some food. And I guess we'll greet Finn. I don't think we know Finn. Oh, we do know him. Cool. He wants to get another best friend, so he could try and become best friends with Maria. That'd be nice. Go away, Jan. Or whatever your name is, Aileen. <laughs> yeah, he got his second best friend. Okay, let's do a casual woohoo since he wants to. I'm sure she probably does as well. Okay, does he have work tomorrow? Yeah, okay. He doesn't need anything <laughs> for work. So hopefully a promotion's in sight for him. Okay, cool. He's uh, one happy chap. We'll go to sleep. Oh, let's get our money. Oh, she's probably going to take it, to be honest. Quick, quick, before she takes it. <laughs> get some leftovers and go to sleep because he's got to go to work. Okay, he's returned. Promotion? Yay! He now works 10 till 3 a.m. Not as nice hours. And he got 935. So we'll definitely have our fashion store soon. We're going to sell some cologne. <laughs> Get all the ladies around town using that. And then, and the gentleman. And he'll, uh, he'll definitely enjoy that. We're going to call George. Um, I think George must be straight. Because I, I, I don't think I set their, their sexualities yet. Not 100% sure. But we'll see what happens. I just don't think George responded to the flirt. They haven't got any bolts together. But he definitely can get a friend, for sure. It's not all about love interests. Though I'm sure if George wants to, he would uh, perfectly... Perfectly, uh... Agree to that. Oh, did we get a love letter in the post? Oh, that's cute. Right, let's... Can we read our love letter? Let's pay our bills. And then what does it say? Um, does it not go in our inventory? What did he do with it? Can we not open love letters? I don't know what happened to that. Did he send one? I don't know. I don't know what happened there. Okay, greet George. I'll tell you a little joke, George. My you. Share our interest with you. Nope, doesn't like jokes. Doesn't like jokes. Not interested. <laughs> oh, God. What are your interests then, George? What do you like? What do you want to talk about? Does he like art? Okay. That's cool. We can talk about art. Talk, tell story, and art story. Okay, he likes art, George does, I think. <laughs> What's he doing? What are you telling us? Right, we better go and answer the phone. Okay. Who is it? Oh, it's Maria. We're going to serve some lunch meat sandwiches so that George can have one as well. Let's do the ventrilo fart. <laughs> okay, so his new job starts at 10. I wonder if it will be today. Because sometimes when you get promoted, you have to go to work twice. <laughs> <laughs> did he like that though or did he hate that? 
<laughs> you don't really like that at all. Tell him another art story. He's hard to get on with, George. <laughs> or is it Jack's problem? I don't know. Let's have a look at how his reputation is going. Ah, he's an average cabbage. Fine by me. <laughs> At least it's not a negative anymore. Definitely likes talking about art. Right, we better get a little nap because I think he's going to have to go to work. I've got a feeling he will. This guy, poor guy, is living off lunch meat sandwiches. Oh, he has the night off. Perfect. Okay, cool. Right, let's clean that up. And let's see, who should we invite over? Maybe we should invite over... Hmm, maybe we should invite over Molly. Let's call her up. I'm going to lock in the third woohoo, because if we do woohoo with her, that'll be the third one. We'll do a little charm. Talk to her a little bit first, and then we'll do a charm. He's got £1,000. We might be able to start his little business. I think his lot will cost 1600 though. Well, she likes talk. She likes to film. We'll do a wolf whistle to her towards her. He's only got one bolt with her, but that's fine. <laughs> How about a suggestion? Oh, she's got a crush on him. Little back rub. Smooth talk. Let's get that smooth talk working. What's that face for, Molly? Yeah, I have a nice back rub. <laughs> she seems to like that. Give her a little hug. And sweet talk. Oh, there we go. He's got his rose out. He's smooshing her. He's made another friend. Jack, your reputation is definitely going up. It was pretty poor before. <laughs> and now he's got a crush on her hit on her and see if she'll go for a romantic hug up her arms give her a kiss and tender kiss yes and he wants to make out with her we will try will we be able to make out yet romantic kiss let's uh oh no we've got to propose moving in um Tender. Hold hand. Suggestion. Just trying to get this. Ah, make out's unlocked. Yes. Okay. Let's go make out with her. And then that should roll. All these three, these two wants should be fulfilled. Perfect. And then we're going to do. Let's see. Casual. Will I woohoo? You could probably talk me into that. Hmm. Well, let's see if she'll do it. That's not the pious score I've ever seen. Casual woohoo. Let's see. He's woohooed three ladies now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, there you go, Jack. Another woohoo down. He definitely wants this public woohoo. Maybe in his uh, his own shop we'll have a we'll have some sort of sofa or something that they can woohoo on. Okay. She's left. She's like bah. <laughs> Got what I came for. Right. Does he have to work today? Ten p.m. Not till tonight. So that's good. Okay. I want to see if. Hmm, I really want him to start a business. Maybe I'll get him a smaller plot of land. But it's still going to be too expensive. 900. Yes, we will purchase that. Thank you very much. And let's go over there. Actually, let's see if the money tree will come back. Ah, uh, cool. Oh, it's Ella. <laughs> Mayor's like, you haven't paid your taxes, Jack. He's like, yeah, 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 yeah. I promise. I will. I will promise. I'm a, I owe you. I owe you. <laughs> We're going back to Ella's round next, actually. And I have been keeping a record of how much tax money we've got. Right, let's call a taxi. Um, we'll go over to our little shop. I have no idea what you need to uh, own a little uh, fashion boutique. Okay, so this is a plot of land. It's like very long and skinny. 
Okay, he can't really afford anything yet for his business. We can get a thingy to keep his till on, but uh, there are clothing racks and things, but they're not, we haven't got the money for them. But we'll just hang around here a minute and just see if any other sims spawn that we might want to talk to. Oh, Maria's here. I kind of was hoping some of the new sims that I made might show up. We'll talk to Anthony. I was hoping that if we had a great date, we could have got some items. Oh, he didn't, Anthony and Jack did not get on at all. <laughs> we'll just see if anyone walks by of interest. I think he's got to go to work. Oh my god, people are just like freaking arguing in the street here. Okay, <laughs> I was just getting him a taxi to come home because we can't afford anything other than this counter and he's decided to have to fight with Anthony. Oh my god, okay, let, go home. <laughs> I don't know what this is about. Oh my god, look, he absolutely hates Anthony. Anthony, minus 100, minus 75. He has an enemy. Right, go, go home. Well, we made an enemy and bought a business, so that's good. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's going to have to Go to work at 10 o'clock? Yeah, his carpool should come at 9. Oh, Molly's here. He's not going to be in a good mood for work. Yeah, he's got an hour. <laughs> okay, let's... Uh, friendly. Let's play Red Hands. If he's got time for work. She might not, but if we can get his fun levels out the red, that'll be good. But his... Oh, his energy is so bad. Ugh. Go on, off you go. We need the money for our shop. <laughs> So the clothing racks are quite expensive. Jack is sitting in his tiny sales kiosk, listening to the sound of the rain beating against the bulletproof glass. He has just begun to debate whether he should eat Yumco tiny cake or try one of the new flavours of mystery cheese food when a racy new sports car pulls up to the full reverse pump and honks for service. Should Jack go, go on break or pretend not to notice? Ombre. Jack grabs a magazine and some snacks and leans down against the warm generator at the base of the frozen treats cooler. As he takes his first bite of the delicious yummo tiny cake, he notices a golden ticket stuck to the wrapper with creamy gelatinous frosting. Jack won fourth prize in the Yumco Instant Win sweepstakes. He cashes in his ticket for 500. Yes, Jack. I love that for you. He's going to be back at 3 a.m. And we're going to send him straight to bed. He might even faint on the outside of the lot, to be honest. Oh, he made it. To no, no. Didn't quite make it to bed. Come on, Jack. Come on, Jack. He's got a fear of getting married to Maria. I'm sure she's got a fear of getting engaged to you, do. Influence someone to garden. That's very random. But yeah, we got 690, so we should be able to buy a clothing rack, and I hope we can afford a till. Then that's the basics of his shop, but I want to, like, upgrade it through time so that he can have... Um, he can sell like jewellery, perfumes, all that sort of stuff. Maybe even like some makeup. You know, it's all like display stuff, but it'll look, look nice in Sims houses. Right, you can go back to bed, my friend, for a little bit. I think he has to work today. Oh, someone kicked over my trash can. Gross. Oh, he's having a hard time to answer the phone. Right, and we're going to call a taxi. Oh, we got have we got roaches? Don't tell me we've got roaches. That not will not be good. Hopefully, we can find some Sims at our shop to hang about with. Oh, I hope you haven't got roaches. Yep, I think he has. Great. I bet that was Anthony who tipped our bin over because we just don't like Anthony at all. Right, let's go. I know you're all tired, but we might get a sofa in our shop if we can afford it ever. Then you can do your public woohoo. <laughs> Oh my god, look. Hire Melanie's employee. Hire Molly as an employee. Hire Maria as an employee. Wow. He's like, I don't want to do any of the work myself. Okay, let's see. Okay, we have 
this much of a shop to start with. Um, so we're going to... We've got some clothing racks. I'm thinking they're the right ones. I think they're the right ones. Right, let's come and... Uh, he desperately needs some fun. So let's come and play Red Hands. Okay, someone wants to buy something. So let's buy... Let's ring up the customer. I think they bought the shoes. I want to see if they're going to buy this whole rack or they're going to buy just a clothing item. Come on, purchase these beautiful shoes you seem to want to buy. Oh, did they just fall in love? Oh, that's so sweet. Maybe she'll want to buy something after that. Okay, you need to buy something soon because I need to sell up shop. Because he is so tired. Oh, well, there's a new sim I made. Emmy. She's not looking very happy right now, but this is Emmy. <laughs> She's not looking happy at all. She's going to own a, um, oh my God, he left a really nasty smell. Um, um, Emmy's going to own our baby shop. So she's going to sell like cribs and um, children's toys and clothes and that sort of stuff. Okay, we'll just fast forward while we sort his needs out because they are so bad. Oh God, he's got to go to work in an hour. Oh, his needs are so bad. Oh God, okay. <laughs> This is not going to go well. He did. Oh, we needed the mechanical point for a promotion. So he's not going to get that. That sucks. He only earned 144 pounds. That's terrible. Okie dokie. Let's sleep. Oh my gosh. It's stressful. Does he have to work work on Sundays? Yep. Oh, what? You have trod the arduous paths of excellence and your desires answered by this ancient power. Choose what most wisely your requests. She left me a lamp. I don't know if this needs to, he needs to have a good aspiration for this or not. I'll let him go to sleep for a bit and then we'll, we'll sort the magic. I can't believe we've got a magic lamp. How the hell did we get a magic lamp? Thanks, I guess. <laughs> Maybe his dream's about to be answered. The genie of the lamp. Let's see. <laughs> come on, let's hope his dreams are going to come true. Hello. <laughs> We're going to wish for wealth, beauty, a long life, power of cheat death, peace of mind, personality, metamorphosis, immunity. I want to get, I want wealth. I'll take wealth. You get three wishes. Okay. Can I have money? I'm shallow. Okay. Okay. Where's my money? <gasps> get money, get money, get money, get money, get money. Oh, he's so lucky. How much was it? 10 grand? I can't believe we just got 10,000 pounds. How freaking lucky are we? Oh my God. Okay, what can I wish for now? Beauty, long life, power to cheat death, peace of mind, personality, um, metamorphosis. Give me, I'm gonna go for wealth again and then beauty, I think. I can't believe we got, I can't believe this. He's gonna get 20 grand. Where's my money? Yes, get the money. This is too powerful. <laughs> Should we be allowed this? Right, give me beauty now, please. I think this makes them super attractive, but I don't know if it's permanent. Ooh. Your wish has been granted. However, you have used the last of your wishes. According to the genie law, I must leave. Farewell. Okay, it's called a sim. He hasn't left. Are you... Oh, no. I think he's going right. We're going to call over. Let's call over Molly. Oh my God. He just literally left. That's crazy. I can't believe we got, we got a, a genie. I don't know if that's rare or what. That just seems so random, but I'm happy about it. Hi, Ella. Wait, I asked for beauty. Not. Do I just keep getting money? Does this just keep happening? 7,000. What the fuck? Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to swear. Let's tell Ella a dirty joke. See if she likes it. <laughs> How the hell did he just get money? More money. Oh, maybe we shouldn't tell her a dirty joke in front of Molly. Molly's just like, uh, who's this? I thought I was coming over. Does more money fall from the sky or is that it? Oh my God, okay, calm down, calm down, calm down. Let's play, let's try red hands again. Oh, Molly's like, this boy is mine. Go away, Ella. Get your hands off. Oh, they're falling in love. Okay, then we can play Tickle, play Punch You Punch Me, just keep playing games and hopefully his fun's going to go up. Okay, that's a lot better. We got £27,000. I'm so shocked. 
so shocked. I guess we're going to build ourselves a little shop. Okay, he needs to sleep. She's telling us a dirty joke now. <gasps> Sorry, ladies, I need to sleep. Can no, 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 don't you touch my trash can. I need, do you know what I'm going to spend money on? A fence. I'm going to lock for household only. Haha, -ha, you try to get my trash can now. Oh, he's got to go to work in an hour. Oh my gosh, I was so distracted by the money. <laughs> I guess it's going to be, it's going to be the end of his round before he gets back from work. So on Jack's next round, he's going to have to pay a lot of tax money. He's going to have to pay like 2,700 tax money, which is a lot. Um, So that'll be good. And well, I'll wait till midnight because then it's officially Monday. And then we can build him a little shop with what he's got left. He's going to have a good 25k left and we'll make his shop a little bit better. And I'll find out what I need to do to make the sell the clothing rather than the whole rack. But yeah. Oh, it's Monday. So we're going to call that an end to Jack's round. What a... Wow. I, I mean, he's managed to fall in love and woohoo with three different people. He's got £27,000. I mean, I think he's had a great start. Him and Maria are going to run this town soon. <laughs> They're still doing super well. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, do leave a big thumbs up. Drop your comments, suggestions, thoughts and opinions down below as always. And don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.